Hi, thanks for purchasing the Chevron Design After Effects template. In this tutorial, I'm going to give you an overview of the project and how it's set up. And I'll also show you how to replace your placeholders images and how to change the text. I'll also show you how to change the colors. So first, let's take a look in our render comp. And that is located in the render comp folder in the project panel. And you can double click to open it. But as you can see, we already have it open. So let's go to our timeline. And we'll start with our layer number 10. As you can see, there are several nested compositions in this timeline. What we're looking at here is our intro scene, where we have two text areas that can be customized. And I'll show you where you can do that. And then we have our scenes edited sequentially in this timeline. Now this template has six animated scenes, but one of the scenes has three placeholders for images uh, for your photos or videos or for text. So eight total for this template. In this preview, in the render comp, we also have the background composition and the lower third. And that was just for the preview that you saw on, on our site. So you don't have to have this um, in the timeline. You can turn these off or you can, you know, delete them if you need to. So let's start with replacing the text in the intro scene. And to do that, we'll go to our project panel, go to the replace text here folder, twirl that down and we'll double click to open the replace intro text 01 composition. And if you just select the layer and double click it, it immediately becomes um, highlighted, which means it is editable and we can start to type our text. All right. And you want to use the character panel to change your font. And the font we're using in this template is Diner Skinny. And the link to download that free font is located in the PDF. And you can use the drop down menu to change the font. You can use the color picker to change the color if you like. And you can adjust the size and the kerning. And just for this example, with Diner Skinny, the font was a little too skinny. So we use the Faux Bold option. See how small that is? It was a little hard to read. So I have the Faux Bold turned on. So just keep that in mind if you do change your font, that it's going to be really bold if it's already a bigger style font. So you might want to turn that off um, if you do end up changing the font. But we'll go ahead and change it back and there you go if we go to our final comp and look in our intro scene you'll see that our text has been updated and our colors have been changed as well so if you want to change the text for any of the scenes you'll want to go back to your project panel and double click to open any of these uh, replace text pre-comps double click double click on the text layer Oops. And then if we go back to our render comp, you'll see that our text is customized. So now let's move on to replacing our images in the template. We'll start with scene 01 and we will go to our project panel, go to the replace, whoops, replace photos here folder, twirl that down and you wanna double click on the replace scene image 01 composition. And as you can see, we have a placeholder comp. You can turn that off or delete it. And now we want to import our image that we want to use in this uh, scene. So let's go to File, Import, File. And you'll navigate to the folder on your hard drive where you have your images. I'm already there, so we're going to select a photo and click Open. So now all we do is select our file and drag it into our timeline. You can hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale properties and you can scrub on those numbers to make that a little bit bigger. You wanna make sure that your image fills up the entire uh, composition. So let's go back to our render comp. And as you can see in scene one, our image has been updated. So if you wanted to change the colors in this template, each scene composition has its own color controls so you can actually have uh, a different color theme for each scene if you wanted to 
So to show you how that works, we're going to double click to open scene 01 composition. You can do that in the timeline by just double clicking on the layer if you're using CS5. And if we go to our timeline and select our color control layer, hit E on our keyboard to bring up the effects controls. If you go to your effects controls panel, you'll see that we have color pickers set up some color controls. And all you do is click on the colored square and it'll open up a new color picking menu. And you can just use the color picker to change your colors. And to change the colors for our little text design element we have here, you want to open up the text reveal composition and you can find that in the project panel in the elements folder. See text reveal, double click to open that. And that has its own color control menu as well. So let's also take a look at our lower third composition. If we go to our project panel, Go to lower third folder, twirl that down and double click to open up the replace lower third text composition. You can double click that, open it up. And this is where you can change your text. Again, just select the text layer, double click. And do that for both layers. And if you click on your selection tool, you can actually drag that text layer wherever you want it. And we have the same color control setup as we do in the other compositions. So if you go to your color control layer, then go to your effects controls, you have the same color pickers. So you can change the colors for these um, text bars. But if you want to change the text reveal, again, you need to double click on that to open up that comp and use the color controls in that text reveal. And this text reveal comp is used throughout the entire template. So if you change your colors in here, it's going to affect the colors in all of these text reveal compositions throughout the template.